guys know by now that we love any equestrian themed craft. So today we're gonna show you how to make some wall art. We have two really cute ideas that we think you're going to love. You're going to need a hammer, nails, and hot glue, so please check in with an adult before you get started. Let's go for it. Remember that really awesome stirrup necklace we made in this video? Well today we're gonna show you how to make a jewelry holder so you can hang them on your wall. That means that we'll be using a hammer and some nails, so you're gonna wanna be sure to check with an adult before you start. Good plan. I am so excited to hang this up in my room. Let's get started, let's go. You will need a piece of wood of any design that you would like, a couple of old horseshoes or some new ones that you buy for the craft, paint and paint brushes, a hammer, twine to hang the board from, scissors, and nails. They should be long enough so that they can be hammered halfway into the board and still stick out long enough so you can hang your necklaces. Paint the piece of wood whatever color you like. Your favorite color, your barn colors, or a color that just matches your room. I decided that I already really like the color of my wood, so I'm just gonna paint the horseshoes instead. All right, so it looks like I am completely done painting. I'm going to wait for it to dry about 20 to 30 minutes. Once your board is completely dry, lay out your horseshoes and figure out how many you want to include on your board and how far apart they should be. Oh, I really like your design, Rosa. Thank you. I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different, like that. a stagger. Yeah. When you know exactly how you want the horseshoes arranged on the board, carefully hammer a nail into the middle hole on each side of the horseshoe. For this nail, hammer it all the way into place, but not so far that it's through the back of the board to hold the horseshoe in place. Be careful with your fingers. Next, hammer two nails on either side of the horseshoe, about halfway into the board, so it's sticking out far enough to hang necklaces on. Repeat this step on each horseshoe. For this craft, you can really do whatever you want. You can paint the horseshoes, paint the board, do neither, do both. You can get really creative. If you have any mistakes, that's fine. I think it looks really great, like a little paint over there. <laughs> that looks so good, Rosa. I love it. You're a pro. I kind of feel like this would look so good in my bedroom because I kind of feel like my bedroom needs a makeover. Guys, tell us in the comments if you think we should do a bedroom makeover. Do it. <laughs> Horse themed, of course. <laughs> Swoop. 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 I'm already thinking about what jewelry I'm gonna put on here. Yes. Oh my gosh, I think some necklaces are a must, some bracelets. My room really needs this. <laughs> now we need a way to hang the board onto the wall. So you're gonna wanna talk to an adult about how they'd like you to hang on the wall. One easy way is to hammer a nail onto each corner of the board, then tie twine to each nail. Once I get both sides, I'm going to hammer down the nail so it's more secure. I'm taking the other side and doing the exact same thing. So now I'm finished. I really love how my board turned out and I think it's gonna be a great place to put all my jewelry and give my bedroom a little sprucing up. In our world, pretty much anything you use with a horse deserves a frame. So today we're making really cute wall art with a horseshoe. As you guys know, with our horseshoes, there are nails. So be extra careful and check in with an adult before you get started on this one. You'll need a frame, a cork board in the same size as the frame, paint and paint brushes, craft paper, and a hammer and some nails. Choose craft paper you love as the background for your art. Then pick a paint color that goes well with that craft paper. Paint your horseshoe or other horse item that you plan to frame. Secure the craft paper to the cork board. When your horseshoe is perfectly dry, nail it to the cork board. Try to use nails that are just long enough to go into the cork board, but not all the way through to the other side. If they do go to the other side, ask an adult to help you either trim the end of the nail or hammer it to the other side so it's not sticking out. If you like the color of your frame already, you don't have to do anything. But if you prefer to decorate it to match the whole project, then go ahead and paint that too. When everything is dry, secure the cork board to the frame. You should be able to set it right into the frame from the back and secure it using the hardware already on your frame. I am so excited to display our new wall art. I love how Lucky has her mom's poster displayed in her bedroom. Same here, and I really wanna make some wall art for my sisters. Oh yeah. Who are you going to make wall art for? Tell us in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and watch Spirit Writing Free on Netflix.